Hello and welcome to another video on the Sargent Viking. In the midst of Giro d'Italia, a great race in Tropoleon can be underestimated. I know that the Giro d'Italia is more important being the first grand tour of the year and all, but this is a great race that offers everything a classic race should. I don't think that the race has the prestige it should, and I think it should be a bigger world tour race. But enough of that, let's stick into the race. The one day race in France is for many not considered as one of the bigger races, but it still has something to offer. The race started in 1984 and since then a total of 28 wins in favour of France. However, last year Connor Swift from Great Britain won the race and in 2019 it was Andrea van Drame who held his arms high at the finish line. So it hasn't been the race for the French side the last couple of years. We will see if the French can win it again, or if it will be another nation who will take the victory. Now let's talk about the route. The race offers a lot of different terrain as the riders must overcome both gravel and cobblestone sections in the windy of Brittany. The riders must overcome 207 kilometers in the saddle as well. It is from kilometer 120 the race really starts to take its shape and to be more specific from section 7. This is where the hard terrain starts with a whole lot of cobblestone and gravel sections. It will be a hard day for the riders. It's hard to predict who will win this year's Troll Leon. It can go both ways for any riders and it all comes down to who really got the best legs. However, these are my candidates to win this year's Troll Leon. Number 5. Max Valscheid. He won the Grand Prix de Donai, but he hasn't won anything since that. He might be one of the most experienced riders in the peloton, but I think he will need a little bit more. We will see if he can beat the others. Number 4. Hugo Hofstetter It hasn't been the best season so far for the Akira Samsek rider, but he has managed to get a lot of UCI points on the board. In fact, he is the second highest rated rider in this peloton. That has come from a lot of top 5 finishers spread over 15 different stages. It feels like he just need that last bit of strength to win. Number 3. Brian Kokar It's been an alright year for the Cofferdice rider so far. He has won 2 stages in the Tour de Garde and the Tour de la Provence and he was involved in the sprint finishes in Paris-Nice. He finished second behind Mass Pedersen on stage 3. He is a talented sprinter with a lot to offer and we will see if he got what it takes to beat the very best. Number 2. Connor Swift As the defending champion of the race, Connor Swift should be able to sit with the best. He knows the route and he knows the sections. However, the season so far hasn't been too kind for Connor Swift. In the one day races, his best result has been a 5th place in the Spanish race Clasclia Chaan Parazo. He was able to get a 7th place in Tour de Garde in GC, which is a pretty decent result. However, a victory for the Akira Samsic rider would be excellent. Number 1. Alexander Christoph An excellent year so far for the Norwegian rider. He has managed to win both Shelter Prize and Classic Almeida and gotten 3rd in both Milano Torino and Espon Frankfurt. Christoph is the clear favorite for this race. As you might have seen, these favorites are all from Akira Samsek and Profitis. They have put a lot of great riders in the race, uh, where some of the other World Tour teams just haven't. I'm almost sure that it will come down to a fight between these two teams. They only need to shake Christoph off. Perhaps that is too much to ask. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment on who you think will win this year's Tropoleon. I'll see you guys in the next one.